are in the beautiful city of Philadelphia, and we'll be working with ACCT Philly. They are a big municipal open admission shelter, and we are here to help them get their dogs out of those kennels and get them playing together in big groups. My name is Amy Sadler. I am the Director of Training and Behavior for the Southampton Animal Shelter Foundation and the founder of Dogs Playing for Life. I'm very privileged because pretty much my job now is to run around the country and help other shelters just let their dogs out to play in groups. And in doing all of that, we end up helping with life saving and adoption matching and helping rescues be able to pull dogs more successfully because they have more information. Everybody wants uh, happy, healthy, social dogs. So we're getting that started with play groups everywhere we go. Animal Care and Control Team is the shelter contracted by the City of Philadelphia to perform animal care and control services. So we handle about a little more over 30,000 animals per year. Hi. About 20,000 of those are cats and 10,000 of those are dogs with a couple thousand other animals thrown in. Our shelter was actually built on kind of an emergency basis because the former contractor that provided animal control from their own facility actually backed out of the contract. And the shelter was thrown together in a really hasty fashion by the city because they had to. They were really, their backs were up against the wall. So our facility for dogs is actually a large, what was formerly a boiler warehouse. And they placed kennels in it and we don't have enough kennels mathematically to hold all the dogs we need to hold. In addition, to not having enough space. Uh, the kennels are not designed for long-term humane housing. They're not the square footage that you would want, uh, ideally, for a dog that was gonna stay for an extended period of time. Pretty much everything that you could think about a kennel not being designed uh, for long-term housing and the best possible care um, is what our kennels are. Most of our shelters are overwhelmed by the sheer number of dogs coming in on a daily basis. There are not enough resources to cater to these dogs' behavioral needs when they're simply housing, feeding, and trying to keep these dogs alive for a certain length of time. The idea of a playgroup handles a lot of problems all at the same time. You can serve as many, many more dogs. You can get a lot more exercise than simply a walk around the block or two would accomplish. And you can then learn more about the behavioral stability of the dogs that you have under your care to make them much more adoptable in the long run. What we've learned is that every shelter can do better by their dogs if they start out with the foundation of letting them play in groups. So that's why it became a primary focus of mine to run around the country and teach every shelter how to do at least this piece. Even with the best intentions to create a decent environment, being kenneled and being socially isolated from one another can create kennel craze and all of that behavioral deterioration that we really don't want to see. It's very difficult to judge the true behavior and nature of a dog when they're frustrated and jumping on the kennel door wanting to be let out. So many people go to a shelter, take a look, be overwhelmed, and leave. By implementing these play groups, you're giving the people an opportunity of seeing the dogs in an open area, in a much more relaxed and a lot more fun environment, and ultimately you get to know the real dog and learn more about their true temperament and behavior.